The ex-president is lighting up his staff because he's pissed about picking J.D. Vance. As insiders feel he's going to fire two extremely talented campaign gurus, Martha Williams, Daily Mail. Expect strongly this was a leak from people who wanted another candidate for vice president. I'm hearing from some friends of mine that this is the Kellyanne Conway camp. So I'm going to say to Kellyanne and others, it's time to pipe down. You've been warned. I've had about enough. J.D. Vance was a great pick. Okay, so that is Dan Bongino. I was going to say that's obviously Dan Bongino. I don't know for you if it is obviously Dan Bongino, but he is very, very angry that people within the Trump campaign are leaking that he apparently is not happy with J.D. Vance. Now, he would say it's not a leak, it's a lie. And maybe he's right, I don't know for sure, even if it is Kellyanne Conway, and there are good reasons to believe that she might be the source of at least some of this leaking. We don't know for sure what Trump is thinking. I would say for Dan Bongino though, Donald Trump regretting the choice is not an attack against Donald Trump for us to imply that that might be true. That is acknowledging that maybe he has some critical thinking capacity, some ability to analyze how this thing is going. Because JD Vance, whether you like it or not, and you're free to like JD Vance, is not helping. I mean, objectively, not not just in terms of there being like a bunch of bad news cycles and all of these weird, incelly, strange comments he's made on podcasts before, but you can look at the polling. It's clearly not helping to change the situation. And so it is very plausible that Donald Trump is angry about the pick. Um, But either way, if Kellyanne Conway is leaking that, it is likely that she is doing it because she wants to move things in a direction where he drops J.D. Vance. And look, you can you can dislike Kellyanne Conway for all sorts of reasons. I certainly do. I don't agree with her on virtually anything. But she definitely wants Trump back in the White House. And if J.D. Vance is a drag on the campaign, which I think a case could be made that he is, would it not be a better choice for him to drop J.D. Vance? The issue is that J.D. for whatever reason just has a couple of people on the right that will love him until the day he dies. Don Jr. is apparently one of them. I didn't know that Bongino likes him, but apparently he's a big fan of him. But the issue is that you can like him a ton. That doesn't mean that well-adjusted regular people do. They disagree with you and they have a lot more votes than you do. Now, if we could turn briefly to the last thing that he said right there, it wouldn't be a Bongino clip without him making an insane threat against someone that he disagrees with. So Kellyanne Conway might or might not be doing the leaks. Either way, he's threatening her. He's saying, like he said, you're, you've been warned. Okay, and I'm sure that if he gets enough criticism, he'll be like, no, I just mean that like I won't be nice to her in the future or whatever. I'm not threatening violence, except we all know exactly what he's doing. I'm not saying he's actually gonna do anything. I'm sure he's just as like flaccid and weak as all of these other right wing men who goes on shows like this and makes like a big fuss and tries to act like an alpha and obviously isn't gonna do anything. He doesn't wanna lose his lucrative job by punching Killian Conway in the face or whatever. But he also knows his audience and his audience loves these sorts of threats, particularly against people that are perceived to be traitors to Donald Trump. And so Dan Bongino can throw out a threat against Kellyanne Conway and he gets to look big and tough, look at me, I'm threatening the woman or whatever. And his audience will eat it up and they just love it because she's a traitor and so she deserves terrible things to happen to her. And maybe that's it. Maybe that's the last you'll hear of this. Or maybe she'll get death threats, or maybe one of Bongino's followers will show up outside of her house, or maybe one of her follower of his followers will try to bash her skull in like they did with Nancy Pelosi and Nancy Pelosi's husband. Um, that's the risk that they run. And I think all of them know that at this point, but they care more about market share for their podcasts than they do about the right that these people that they disagree with on some stuff, but not even that much, have to live. Anyway, some people have pushed back against it. This former GOP staffer, Kurt Bardella, pushed back saying open threats could lead to violence and should be condemned. I have a feeling they probably will not be widely condemned, but I would like it to at least be consistent and say that more political violence seems like kind of a bad thing. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?